All right, everyone. Welcome back to Magpie Movies with me, Jordi Paul. Uh, thanks very much for sticking with me. So um, today's video is all about what's up here. I'm going to do a full 4K collection that I uh, I own. Um, I've done one before, but I've sold some. I've bought some. I've sold them again. So this is to have a definitive guide to exactly what I've got. Now this won't be including um, the Marvels because they are on a different uh, location to here. So this is purely just movies that are in here. Yes, there'll be some Marvels in there, but I'm talking about MCU, you know, from start to finish. Combined Universe will be in a separate video. Um, so yeah, so that's the idea for today. Uh, so before we begin, uh, a massive uh, get well soon to my friend Pete, uh, Blu-ray Bullet Brit, as you all know him. I'm sure everybody who watches this video will be completely behind me uh, and supportive of Pete and saying, um, and if you're watching this, Pete, get well soon, mate. Um, don't worry about anything about videos. Don't worry about anything about YouTube. You just worry about your health. That's the main thing. And I'm sure everybody who watches this will agree with me that your safety and your health is paramount over anything else. Um, so yeah, so point one. Secondly, um, congratulations to uh, Jake and Josh for hitting over their 100 subscribers for the film flick and of course um, Jake's own channel. Um, great stuff, great news. Uh, I'm really happy for that. I had him on the, on the live chat, uh, enjoyed that. So with regards to going back to the live chat, um, I've had a few people asking about Pete. So yeah, on Sunday, Pete messaged me, said he wasn't very well. So I cancelled it. I messaged Tony, Horror and Todd and said, look, mate, we'll have to reorganise it because Pete's not well. Tony was fine with that, no bother. Um, so I cancelled it. And then out of nowhere, uh, Jake then came in and said, can I step in? I was like, yeah. So we did like a, that hour impromptu live chat, which I'm glad we had a bit of interaction with people on it. Um, so thanks again for that. And if you haven't subscribed to him, all the channels, every single channel that I think you should subscribe to because you like this one is down below in my description. Please take a look. In there, you'll also find out what I watch things on, uh, um, what setup I've got, what stream platforms I use and things like that. So anyway, without further ado, that's the introduction out of the way. You've come here to see my full 4K uh, Ultra HD Blu-ray collection. So let's go for it. So as you can see, here are my three shelves. These are all alphabetical, obviously going from numerical down to blah, blah, blah. Z down here. I do have a couple of uh, pops on here. We've got uh, Grogu, um, Mandalorian, my 3D glasses, BB-8, BB-8 again, uh, some Lego Star Wars here, and of course, uh, the Stormtrooper. So yeah, so as you can see, they're all on here. The only thing that isn't on here, as I said earlier on, is my Marvel. Uh, and of course, on the end here, behind Mr. Stormtrooper, we've got the Dawn of the Dead. He's in, that's there, separate uh, for everything else, because it was just so big, and I thought, just get him there, get him standing in there. So anyway, so that's that's my three shelves, um, not including MCU. And let's crack on, and I'll show you exactly what I've got, and I hope you enjoy it. So here we go. So I've got the first shelf of is empty. The, all these 4Ks are now here. So I'll go through them. I'll make a bit of room for where they're going to go. So... Here we go. For first off, uh, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi with John Krasinski and it was directed by Michael Bay. Good film and the 4K on this is very good. Then we go to 1917. If you haven't seen this, you should have done. And if you um, have seen it, then you know how good it is. And again, it's a good 4K picture quality. 300. Now, I haven't watched this since I picked up the new 4K resolution. I have tried it, but I haven't watched it all the way through. But again, uh, for Zack Snyder's pictures and everything, I thought this would reserve a 4K pickup. One of my favourite films of all time, Alien in 4K. Picture quality is on this, and I prefer the director's cut to the original. Now, bear in mind, these aren't necessarily in alphabetical order, but they're in movie order. You'll know what I mean when I see you next. So... Then we've got Prometheus. I love Prometheus. Good film. Um, a lot of people got a lot of hate for it, but I'm a big fan of it. Saw this a day release. Took the missus. She had no clue what the hell was going on, but I loved it. And then we have um, the Steel Book of Alien Covenant. Uh, again, I, I really enjoy the Alien Covenant. The only problem I've got is the bit when he's playing the flute. Other than that, take that out of it. It's a good, solid Alien movie, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. We then have the 
six disc edition of Apocalypse Now. I have watched this ages and ages ago, but I haven't seen it recently. But I got this uh, imported from America because I decided to buy it after the six disc had uh, been limited in the UK. Uh, then we have Apollo 11, uh, the 4K rendering of the news footage and the NASA footage of when they went into space in 1969. And then we have Apollo 13. Um, I haven't watched this yet, so I'm not too sure of the picture quality of it. But another great film. Uh, Arrival. Saw this at the cinema. I haven't watched it again since I bought it in 4K. But again, the picture quality is supposed to be really good. Um, so yeah, thought I'd give it another go. Everybody raves about this, and I've only seen it once. And I wasn't too struck on it the first time. But hey, everything deserves a second chance. And then we have Baby Driver. Great soundtrack. Great Edgar Wright film. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. So that's one pile of the first set done. Then we have the Back to the Future trilogy, uh, the 4K uh, Steelbook collection of it. Then we have uh, Bad Boys, Bad Boys 2, and I guess you know what's coming next, Bad Boys for Life. Good trilogy. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy all of them. Uh, I think the first one for me is the best one. Uh, then we have Black Hawk Down. Love this film. Really, really good film. Um, I have much extended edition of it, but as soon as this came out of 4K, I'm like, I've got to have this. I've had this on um, DVD, Blu-ray, and now I've got it on 4K. And it's from Ridley Scott, and I love Ridley Scott stuff. Uh, Blade, got this with money I got for my birthday in December last year. I haven't seen the movie in ages, and I haven't actually watched the 4K either. I haven't had time. So many movies, so little time. Uh, Blade Runner, awesome. Blade Runner 2049, I love this movie, really, really good. And this is probably one of the first 4Ks I got, because the picture quality in this is crispy. It's lovely. Uh, then we have Brightburn, the anti-superhero movie. Very good. Uh, Cabin in the Woods, the Steelbook edition. Uh, one of those movies that isn't exactly what you expected. And I got the Steelbook for cheap, so why not? Casino, Martin Scorsese. The only uh, James Bond I own in 4K. Uh, when they all came out in 4K, I decided that I only wanted to get the one. And that was Casino Royale, because in my opinion, this is the best one. Of the new ones, anyway. Uh, Close Cat was of the third kind. And then we have Creed. These are new ones. Uh, Creed 2. Still yet to watch Creed 2. I have seen Creed though. Uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. Essential. Deadpool. Deadpool 2. Die Hard with the elusive slipcover. Uh, the best Christmas movie ever. Uh, love this movie, uh, and, and I've got a couple of t-shirts which I'll show you later on what I picked up, and this is in it. Uh, the wife and I watch this every Christmas. It is our Christmas tradition film, and it is a Christmas movie. Uh, Doctor Sleep, with the director's cut on it, but only on Blu-ray. Dunkirk, love this movie. Equalizer 2, um, Equalizer 1's downstairs, I'm watching that at the minute, again. Um, so they, I do have the Equalizer, so pretend this is the Equalizer 1, but that's Equalizer 2. Then we have E.T. Everest. 3D and 4K picture on this is really, really good. And every time I watch this at the end, I always... The film always affects me because of a lot of what happens at the end, with all the deaths and everything. Um, so yeah, good. One of my favourite Carpenter movies, The Fog, Steelbook. Forrest Gump, amazing movie. Probably one of Tom Hanks' best performances after... Um, Philadelphia, but I always like him in Dragnet. Then we have Full Metal Jacket, my second, or is it third favourite? My second favourite uh, Stanley Kubrick film. Fury, awesome. 4K picture quality on this and the sound is amazing. Get Out, I love John Peel stuff. Brilliant movie. And Gemini Man, not the best movie, but the, as I keep saying of all my videos, this is the best 4K crispy picture I've ever seen. And the 40 frames per second, or is it 60? This has the higher frame rate of 60 frames per second as opposed to digital copy. And to me, that makes a hell of a difference and it's so good. So, that's shelf one down. Let's move on to shelf number two. One left to go. We have Steelbook of Gladiator. Again, one of the first ones I bought when I got the 4K telly. Ghostbusters 1, 2 and 3, 2 Blu-rays, 2 4Ks and a bonus disc. 
Godzilla King of the Monsters. And within this, I'll put the 3D disc. So I sold the 3D uh, normal Blu-ray and I've got the Blu-ray, the 4K and, and 3D, which I nicked out of 3D. Put that in there. So that's a 3 disc, but I need to get a, a little arch thing to put in there. We've got the Titans of Cult Goodfellas. We have the Goonies. Gremlins. Hawk, Hawk Shack. Axel Ridge. Uh, Halloween. Halloween 2018. I Am Legend. Guilty Pleasure of Mine. Love this movie. Inception. Uh, oh, it's not it's got ripped back. Uh, Interstellar with a ripped. Ugh, disappointing. Interstellar with a ripped slip. Uh, the Invisible Man. It Chapter One American Import. It Chapter Two American Import. I got this initially, and I thought, well, I've got to have the American one for the for the both of them. So that's why they're both American. Uh, Jack Reacher, number one. Jack Reacher never go back. Jaws. John Wick. I'm guessing you know what's coming after the Bad Boys incident. You know what's coming next. John Wick Chapter 2. And John Wick Chapter 3. Parabellum. Then we have Joker Steelbook. Lovely Steelbook. Jurassic Park Steelbook. Guess what's next. Jurassic Park Lost World Steelbook. Or the Lost World Jurassic Park. Uh, Jurassic Park 3 Steelbook. Jurassic World Steelbook and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The thing I like about these steelbooks, if we go back to them, is on the back of each one they've got they've got like they've got the logo, which you can just see there, and they've got words. So on the back of this one is an adventure sixty five million years in the making, and in the back of the Lost World is something has survived, and on the back of three is something unexpected has evolved. And on this one is the park is open. And on this one is the park is gone. So I like those little nods on the back. It's really good. Uh, then we have Peter Jackson's King Kong. Uh, Ryan Johnson's Knives Out. So he followed out the shit that stole that as the last Jedi with this. And then we have Kong Skull Island. Life, great movie, great HDR, great 4K picture. Life of Pi. Again, I've done exactly the same as this with I did with the um, King of the Monsters. Just a 3D disc of Life of Pi there. I had the, the steel book of this on Blu-ray, so I saw the steel book. This Blu-ray, 4K and 3D, so I've got another 4, um, 4K box and I put that in there. Uh, Lion King off Rob. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Logan. A slim Case, Mad Max Fury Road. Magnificent Seven remake. Another Ridley Scott film, The Martian. And then we have Mary Poppins Returns. The Matrix. As I said in the live chat, I'm really missing the slip on this. I don't like this rabble, rabbit motif on it. Motif, logo, um, image. I really wish I got the slip with that, but I'd see you X for you. Uh, Mission Impossible Blu-ray and 4K collection. And then Mission Impossible Fallout. Then we have... The Mummy Trilogy. Oh, bring these ones over. Murder on the Orient Express. Oblivion. Very good. And the picture. Very good picture. And most recently, as you saw in my review, Parasite with the black and white edition. Time to move on to shelf number three. So we're now moving on to shelf number three, which is the final shelf. Um, just to let you know as well, uh, now I know I mentioned earlier about Dawn of the Dead and uh, you can see it's a blank now, um, the, the Marvel, also my uh, Lord of the Rings steel books are in a separate one, um, as well as my Star Wars which are here, so all my Star Wars are in 4k, that's all you need to know, so let's get on with uh, number three, shelf number three even, so we've got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Overlord, if you haven't seen Overlord, I'd recommend it. It's very good. Uh, Pacific Grim. Again, this is 4K. This is full screen. Very good. People don't like the film. I enjoy it. And the, the um, graphics and the picture quality in this is very good. So if you have a 4K TV, maybe not like Pacific Grim, 
but pick it up because it's a really good picture. And we've got Pacific Rim Uprising, which has the Blu-ray, the 3D, and the normal uh, 4K disc in it. Then we have the limited edition, I don't think it's limited anymore because you get it everywhere, HMV's Passengers, uh, Peninsula, uh, Patriot's Day, uh, Dawn for the Planet of the Apes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and War for the Planet of the Apes. Predator, The Predator, The Prestige, another Christopher Nolan, the Purge three movie box set, and then the first Purge, A Quiet Place, awesome movie. Now where are we next? We are here. Ready Player One, Resident Evil Afterlife, <coughs> love the Afterlife, uh, Resident Evil movies, uh, Resident Evil The Final Chapter, The Revenant, The Three Robert Langdon, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons Inferno Collection. Robin Hood, Ridley Scott. You notice the thing, Ridley Scott, Christopher Nolan, and um, actually, actually, those are the only ones I want. Yes, yeah, so another Ridley Scott one. Um, Saving Private Ryan. Scarface. Schindler's List. The Shining. Favourite Cubic. Sicario. Sicario 2, Soldado. Uh, the Eastern edition of Tenet. A win. Terminator Dark Fate. Transformers The Last Night. Really good picture quality. Not the best Transformers movie. Um, I would like to have them all in 4K, but I've only got the one. Um, but yeah, very good picture quality. Another Jordan Peele. Us. War of the Worlds. Watchmen Ultimate Cut. Zero Dark Thirty, again I had to import this, picture quality this is very good as well. And then we have the X-Men original trilogy. And then finally, we have this bad boy, uh, The Dawn of the Dead. So, and that's it. So like I said, th those three shelves which I've just done now, that's all the 4Ks I own. I don't own that one. I'd say I don't own that many. It's got three, three shelves full. But I know a lot of collectors have a lot more than I do. Um, but yeah, for, so for me, I'm happy with that. And if I want to buy any more, I sell them. I sell them like two, three, four. Maybe just get the one so that clearance keeps the level down. Um, so yeah, so there you go. So that's my full 4K collection on my shelf. I'll do a Star Wars one and a Marvel one and a Lord of the Rings one another time. Well, actually, you've seen the Lord of the Rings one because I was in my previous videos. Um, so yeah. So that is my 4K three shelves collection done. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's my three shelves all done. As you can see, they're all back there. A uh, couple of pickups. I see pickups arrivals. Um, got this with Big Paulie. Uh, I'm hoping to watch it soon. So thanks very much for that, matey. Got a couple of t-shirts as well. Uh, got a one off of Zavi, which is my Lord of the Rings t-shirt. And then I also got one from Last Exit to Nowhere which is this one, never forget, Nakatomi Plaza, Christmas Eve, 1988, the Joseph Yoshinobu Tiagi Memorial Fund. So as you probably guessed, that's from Die Hard. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Um, again, good well wishes and just everything to Pete. Pray you're all right. Uh, I know as a, as a blue tube community we all come together, you should have had a shitload of uh, get well wishes and similar. So for me, for my family here in Darlington, I wish you all the best down there, Pete, down in Southampton. Um, from myself here, I'll be back um, on Sunday with uh, James, aka Movie Worm. We'll be doing an 8.30 live stream. It'll be me, it'll be James, it may be Pete, it may be not. Um, but we all know there's only one person who keeps this, this going live. It's me. Pete doesn't do it. I do all the organisation anyway. He just brings the um, the background and his humour, I guess. But no, uh, seriously though, um, back in on uh, Sunday with James uh, at 8.30. So please tune in for that. Thanks again for the continued support. Thanks again for the lovely comments and messages that you send me. Uh, it's great that we all come together. I was happy to help out a fellow... Um, 
you know, Jake with regards to get to 100. I don't take all the credit because that's not what I'm here for. It's getting people's name out there is great. You know, I'm not a big YouTube channel. Like I said, I'm not bothered about how many subs I get. I'm just happy that you're there watching me, watching my content. Give me great comments. I love it. And I very much appreciate all that. Um, so, yep. Yeah, so I'll see you on Sunday. Thanks again for watching. Um, enjoy yourself. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you in my next video. Jody Paul done.